Bhut. We are bringing you live STEMI India 2018 from Lucknow. Let me introduce our guest of the day. Dr. Navin Gar is with us. He is a professor of cardiology at SGPGI Lucknow. Welcome you, sir. Thank you. Let me begin with a question, sir. Yeah. How transradial coronary intervention is different from the conventional uh, thermophilic uh, interventions? Yeah, in transradial intervention, actually, they are done from the radial artery. While the conventional transfemoral intervention are done to the uh, femoral artery. Femoral artery means through the groin. So, if you are doing it through the groin, there are lots of problems to the patient. Patient has to lie down for a long time after the procedure and there are chances of bleeding complication, hematoma formation, pseudoandrogen formation, excess site, other complications and AV fistula formation. So, so, there are too many complications of femoral approach. So, if you do it from the transradial approach, you can avoid all these complications and uh, it is not only the reducing the complication rate. A patient can be mobilized immediately after the procedure. That is the one of the main advantages. So, patient can go home in the evening or maybe in the next morning while in the transfemoral patient has to stay in the hospital for 72 hours or maybe longer time. And uh, another advantage is uh, patient is uh, can have any posture actually. After the transfemoral approach patient has to lie down in the, uh, in the bed. So, patients are very comfortable and hospitals are also comfortable, they can uh, save their beds. They can do the procedure and can discharge the patient. In the femoral, they have to put the patient for a longer time. So, there is safe, uh, uh, cost saving also, time saving also and there is reduction in the complication rate also. So, it is a win-win situation for the doctor as well as for the patient. So, that is why it is picking up at a very high uh, pace and most of the centers are started doing this and at our center at SGPGI now we are doing exclusively through the transradial approach we uh, until unless it is not possible we are not doing any transfemoral angioplasty. So, it is really beneficial. So, what do you think how stem cell therapy can revolution revolutionize the management of stem in future? Yeah, sure. Uh, Actually, in ST elevation MI, what happens, the most many, many patients, they, they come to the hospital after a long period, after a gap period of maybe 12 hours, some may present after uh, 3 days or 4 days and by that time, the uh, heart muscles are dead. So, and you cannot do much for these patients because heart, heart muscles are dead. And uh, this is one therapy which is giving us some hope. We, we can regenerate the muscles. We, we, uh, we have done a one uh, pilot study and then a uh, multicentric study in India in which we injected a stem cell, patient's stem cell into the coronary arteries and uh, through the uh, transradial approach into the coronary arteries and uh, the results were very gratifying. There was improvement in the uh, uh, ejection fraction means pumping function of the heart and there was improvement in the symptoms, there was improvement in the perfusion. So, so this is one hope for the patient in which you cannot do anything. So, it is uh, really a uh, hopeful situation for the patient as well as for the treating physician. Thank you so much for sharing your views on the Stanley India 2018 platform, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.